Hello and welcome everyone back to the dumbass class with me, Dyslexic Gamer, and the players as always. Um, sorry for the late delay, even though I said I was going to be late, we, we were even later. And the raccoon is um, fucking up as cameraman as, as always. I'm too good to the raccoon and he is he has got complacent with his duties. I shall discipline him later. Anyway, thank you all very much for stopping on by for our possibly maybe final episode of our warhammer fantasy campaign or it's uh, i may have posted that it will be our final episode we'll see if it is who knows but in the last episode our group of uh, daring adventurers had braved the demons of uh, zinch and sent them back to his realm for 10 years at least some of them sent themselves back, but that's another story. That's a different tale that you'll have to watch the VOD on. Um, but after defeating this evil, they moved on towards the tower. Upon entering the tower, they entered a minor realm of Zinch. After a few temptations, they made their way up the tower. Surprisingly unaccosted by any of the hmm, denizens that dwell within Zinch's domain. But upon entering the highest point of the tower, they saw the demon princess of Zinch, not truly manifest yet still in the midst of her symbi symbiosis, the greater change where she will become a greater demon. Upon entering, however, our brave adventurers laid off the fired off the first shot, stopping her from having any monologue whatsoever and starting combat. How dare you. Stopping my You're monologue. Welcome. Unfortunately, the shot hit the ceiling instead of the target, but... It did. It did. You win some, you would lose some. I mean, it, it was a mistake, because... Villains usually make several mistakes when they're monologuing, so... They do, they do. You know, these things happen. I should cast a spell, to be honest. <laughs> she can still monologue. Takes me around to reload, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but you have another blast bullet. Oh, you have another four. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a minute. Did the thing not save my spells? Wait a minute. Horror. Yeah. Jeez. Oh no! But where's... where's... no! What the... What the... Son of are a... Are you in this... Are you in the spellbook? Did you yes. flick through every type of spellbook? From petty all the way to rituals? You might have placed them on the... On the wrong path, technically. And before they're on rituals by accident. The fucking game got rid of my custom spell. I I, I don't like this. F. I I don't. F in roll twenty. Are you sure in the right sheet? I I should I should double check. I should double check because the thing is, she uses most of the spells that the horrors have because they're the spells of Zinch. Hmm. So I may have copied them over and accidentally put. And accidentally put it in that one. That is a possibility. We will we will pray to the gods of Oh my god, did I No. No, that's that's the touch one, isn't it? Yeah, that's the touch me touch me spell. Oh you this one. Okay. Right. So Sarah's obviously intended warning shot caught her off guard and she forgot the spell. Perfect. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? Just as planned. How dare you, sirs and madam? How dare you? Uh, madams, actually. Okay. So I have done a really crappy version without the without the write up. We'll use that later on. Um, oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Did I? Because she doesn't have horrors. She has something else. 
So did, where's big bad boss fight? That's where she should be. God damn it, I need your tokens to disappear. <laughs> did I put it in this spell? Aha, I think I did. Yes, I did. Thank fuck for that. Okay. Ooh, the casting number's lower than what I thought. Uh, okay. Wait, copy. Copy it. Sorry about this. I Actually, I will do the other spell now. Um, so, she laughs as you uh, fire your pistol. The small templates are three by three, isn't it? Uh, I think it's from page 140, I think is where it starts. Nope. Magic. It's 142. What you're looking for is... The small template. One. Small template is a circle of diameter of six yards, three squares. So I think it's six by six. Oh, it's a lot bigger than I thought. Like so. Okay then. So you can you please give me an aura? I want people to see this aura. Uh auras. And I want it at six. <laughs> One of the reasons why my aura is actually quite good. Oh boy. It was a six, yeah? Six. Yeah. That, that's a six. Small template is six. Large template is ten. And count template is sixteen. Is it six uh, radius or six diameter? Uh, six diameter. Yeah. So. Forget, it's not, uh, what do you call it? It's, it, it's three radius. Yeah, diameter six yards, so six meter radius is three. I mean, she, she oh. still has to cast it yet. She still has to three. cast it. I mean, she is of Zinch, so... Yeah. I, small I, <laughs> I am I'm really annoyed by the fact that in second edition, this spell is actually an after effect and a reaction. She succeeds in the channeling. She makes sure that this is going to work. Yes! 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 I've got to do this twice, by the way. Because she has a very special ability. That is an ability of Zinch. She gets to roll twice for all of her abilities and pick the highest. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, okay, here's a detail though. She rolled a triple on the first one. And, and then more fives. She did, she did. Either way, I'm gonna have some something happen. Um, Either way, I think that's perils. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I, I, I just need to. Does she just blow her head up, by the way? No, no. Unfortunately, she, uh, she has some of the powers of a greater demon of Zinch. She has not truly manifested them yet. So it doesn't actually affect her. It affects you guys though. I was actually quite hoping that she'd, uh, she'd roll something like this, but so early on? I'm... Oh, Duffel, you were too kind. Um, so I am obviously going to go with the one that's done 12 damage. Um, actually it's done 15 damage. Although like saying that against some of against some of you, that's not going to do that much because I don't think it doesn't do any extra against armor. So okay, twelve Ooh. damage. Roll Sarah doesn't avoid it. I take three damage with Sarah. Then take how much? Aurelia takes more damage. Takes five damage. I can't dodge this because it's not a projectile weapon, so. No, it's a vortex. Yep. 
No, even with my ability, because base. Oh no, I um, guess I didn't actually give it that, uh, I haven't given it that ability. Because again, it's not, it's not fully manifested as a, a, basically a greater demon of Zinch, or a, a demon print, uh, pr uh, prince of Zinch. Uh, so, I do Luckily, still... Luckily, Alvy's only one that's Sorry. I was having no, did I need to roll something? No, 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 yeah. you need to take 15 damage and remove it from your... Nope, Albie's not in range. It's a 3 meter radius. Arp. <laughs> oh, I thought it was... Uh, what location does it count? Don't forget, it multiplies the size of this, actually multiplies it, so if that was one square, if that was only one square, you'd actually get the proper radius from it. So you mean that? Yeah. No, that this here itself, this uh, because it's token, six diameter. this token is is six. That's ten. This token itself is three oh. by th is, uh, three three or three by three because it's uh... yep. So if that token was one, one by one, yeah. There you go. It yeah, scales with the actual size of the token. Ah, I was not aware that the size of the token made any difference. Okay, yes. thank you very much. So can I get it so it hits everyone? <laughs> Your body roll. No, Come on. I'm, no, I'm going to say no. <laughs> Cedric uh, is not looking so hot. I just so realized oh, about mm. 20 degrees Celsius. Mm. She actually rolled fury. I just realized it. Yep. Uh... Oh boy. So this is a minor. Extended. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Good fucking Jesus. Oh boy. Are we gonna get another melt oh, the, the, the situation from last the, night? The laughter, the extreme joy. Ooh. Major manifestation. Oh boy. <laughs> This is beautiful. A roll of unbeaten. A bird. The freaking bird regurgitates for four rounds and can't do anything else. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be entirely sure about that. Can't do anything else. Uh, part. So she unleashes oh. this ball that just starts spinning in her hand. As she throws it into the crowd of you, a vortex opens up. She smiles as vomit pours forth from her mouth. She cackles as she sees you all twist in agony and pain. Uh, let's see. Aurelia. Aurelia. Yeah. I'm going to respond by firing directly at her because she's the only one in the room that we currently can see, right? Because these, I know these are enemies, but are they statues currently? Or are they? They appear to be statues. However, once the shot was fired, I'll give you, you hear the cracking of stone. If you look at them, you'd notice blood red eyes that are looking directly at you. Hmm. No, no, I I'll still focus on her. So. Just check one thing. Yep, I'm going to be firing three arrows at her. She raises her head into the air and spews forth vomit like a fountain of Nurgle. As each one of your arrows flies through the air, whistling for a short moment, they deflect off of a golden light magical barrier. And oh, the laughter and giggling continues from her end. Those are starlight arrows. Oh, bitch. Can I stop after the first one then? <laughs> You're too quick. You're chief, chief. You know, this is all happening within three Shit. seconds. Before the first one's like reached her, 
you fired the second one and as the third one's about to be released just ting you're like oh fuck the first one bounced the second the th um Fair looking enough. over at your sister like what the fuck Fair enough. but perhaps your sister does indeed know something more that's going on it was a long time ago we'll see Cedric, you're up. Far, far away. I lost my journey. I don't, don't think I remember. Hello, Cedric, my old friend. Yes. Are you wounded uh, yet again? But he just saw like the arrows that deflect off the yellow, dark golden orb thing around it. So, <laughs> shit, I don't know. He's also severely weakened, so... Hmm... Don't think he's any special abilities. <gasps> Light. Hang on. He does, okay. Cedric is... Going into the room. With full move. Oh shit, was that on? Yep. No, sorry, that was Casper. Hang on. Yep. That's a full move, and he is quick drawing a net. That's his turn. <laughs> she sees you drawing your net, and the smile and vomit continue to stay. But Casper. <laughs> Casper, my dear friend Casper. As you go to step forwards, your eyes turn to darkness. Your hand outreached, preparing to cast a spell. You do not move, and your hand begins to tremble. Sarah. Hmm. I'm guessing she would run in. Sure. Um, do we know about the statues by now? You could definitely see their red beady eyes staring in your direction. They haven't moved yet as they haven't had their turn. I mean, well, the sense of evil to... in this place would lead you also to believe that they're not just going to be statues. As they are far too lifelike of uh, carving. So she will quick draw her rapier and charge in. No, that one should have hit. Good. I forgot to add the charge. So it's 101 to hit. Well, no, it goes up to 91 to hit, and your target number was nine, and your target roll was 94, because you only get a wait. No, charging is plus 20, right? No. In Warhammer Fantasy, no. Plus ten. No, I, I think it's ten. Let us check. Unless, I sure. think there's a, no. It, it's plus ten. Of Warhammer Fantasy. Fuck it. I'll reroll. Uh, so I think 10. there's a talent for it, but if unless you have the talent. Okay. Instead, you hit the going. right arm. Um, it doesn't parry 
or attempt to defend itself, roll damage. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, okay! Dying. Let us see. Let us see. Target Let's number is 81, right? Uh, your you're flat. Weapon flat weapon skill, yes. It's your flat weapon skill. Yeah. <clears throat> so, without the minus 10 from being here? Yeah, no minus ten. No, it's just um, it's just flat. I mean, technically, the rule book says you add all your bonuses, which I flat out refuse, um, because it simply <laughs> makes it too good. And if I did it with my enemies, there'd be too much, too many casualties, basically. So eighteen damage. Eighteen damage. A mighty blow as you strike the seemingly stone surface, but there is an old mighty ding as you hear a ringing sound coming from the stone, almost as if there's a hollow, a small hollow cavity within. But that tinging sound is broken as your rapier pierces straight through. You feel the blade penetrate some strange substance and as you dig deeper, perhaps with uh, Sigmar's might, or perhaps some other aid. You run your rapier deep into the creature, actually doing far more damage than I thought you would do. Uh... It's blessed too, so if it has extra defense against mundane weapons, it doesn't get those. However, the creature's eyes dart to you, but it itself doesn't actually move or flinch or give any uh, signifier of pain. However, by the time you've realized this, you are up to the hilt. You quickly draw back and get back in your position, your uh, posture, but it has still not moved. Livia, you're up. She's just going to move into the door. Sure. So I just realised, I think that would have actually hit them. Because that would be a six, the small template, a 6x6 six six then, yeah? Yep. Yeah. 3x6, it's 6 diameter, which is yeah, 3 six radius. Diameter. So 3 radius. So. Okay, yeah. so it, the way I had it before was right. Yes. Oh, it's okay. the large template that has the five diameter. Uh, uh, so yes, you have moved into the doorway. Uh, Ciara, you're up. You've seen something that you never thought you would see before. You have seen it. Can I roll something? Like, lacking knowledge? Because it did say I saw something that I recognized. No, 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 no. This is something that you've uh, that you've seen before. Uh, it was a long time ago, but uh, you did see it. Um, you did see it a few episodes ago, and you saw it in the last series. Um, is this when Tarius was doing the, 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 the spell for the first time that I saw? What was he using? I think he had something with that. Is that it? What was he using? I don't remember. <laughs> that was my journal. Then, uh, unfortunately, you can maybe look into the, the realms of magic and hope for a good role, but apart from that. Quick, watch all the vods. <laughs> uh, sure, I'll do a magical. Some sign up. I mean, and that's the the wrong picture. Should put, put, put the the right 
think. Is that enough? You know. No, not even, not even close. I mean, the first time you you saw it, you rolled an actual one. So, the second time you saw it was in a vision, you know. So, ah, oh, my memory. Why are you so bad today? Well, maybe okay, the forests yeah. will just have to die then. Your turn. <laughs> Uh, that was a half an action to do magical systems, right? No, I'll give it to you as a free one. It, it was me trying to, to help remind you of, of something. But unfortunately, I'm not remembering. Um, I'm going to have move. Actually, no, make any difference right now. I'm just going to channel. Let the channeling commence. So this is probably the last th part of Melanie's personality that this creature has taken on. Her giggling laughter. It's probably the only thing that she really, it, took from that poor girl. And her lovely pile of bones. I mean, I have too many spells. She stops. It. No, it's okay. She stops and looks at you. <laughs> Vomit pours forth in between the spouts of giggling breath as you focus a spell upon her. Uh, not at her. Oh. And also, I'm not casting it now because it's a full action. Okay, fair enough then. And telling is half an action. Fair enough then. Hang on a minute. Have we actually got? Hang on. Did I miss a dwarf? Brundon, damn you! Roll your dice. So Albie, you need to... actually it's black hand. Uh, you need to roll uh, <laughs> for black hand. Wait, is it black? Yeah, you didn't roll for yeah, black hand. But black hand's missing from the initiative tracker. You might have actually been clicking Brundon's token when you rolled, so you do need to make sure you click on on. Black hands. I'll just figure out why I won't go back to chat, if that's fine with you. Yeah, sure, just yeah, just um roll uh black hands again. I'm sure the positioning isn't gonna change that much. No, no, in fact it's just... <laughs> Good lord, man. Slow and steady Vince the race. That's it's, too slow, buddy. It's fine. Look, 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 look. He has rolled perfectly it's, fine because now it's, it's Brundon's so turn and it's Blackhand's turn. <laughs> He's still faster than this. Let's just get this right. You know, we get, uh, we get Cass basically. Geddy gets his turn. Both his characters. Uh, Unit gets his turn. Both his characters. Jim's the only one that's left out who has to have a turn. <laughs> wait a while. Have a turn. Wait a while. Yeah. So yes, uh, Brundon, Albie, you are up. Your comrades are attacking the statue-like creatures that have not moved yet, but their beady red eyes are darting around the place. Um, some of them have attacked the uh, the demon princess. Um, that has been not effective at all. And one of ah. your team members is stood there with his hand outstretched, trembling. I run for 15 meters. Sure, you can do that. And now, Black Hand, your turn. Um, where do I have... I Unfortunately, this is the this... door? Yeah, yeah, I made the door a bit bigger for you all, but you still need to go up a bit and through. I barged the, barged the undead thing out the way. Can I stand there? Ah, uh, it's, it's the last second to last. Sure, go ahead. You can stand there. All the rules may be changed. Thank you. You're half in the wall, half out the wall. It's a realm of zinch. It's a realm of chaos, these, these things. Here you go. I'll move you over. Here you go. The fuck happened to my shake sheet? Uh, if there are loads of zeros there, you need to go onto your career list 
and you need to click into the last career that you're in but there's a little uh, tag that you can click on because roll 20 does like to do that to the sheets have you got loads of zeros on your character sheet no it's my move of my set of my other character gather this i've got four move in my Character, but I only got one move effective. Which one's this? Let me have a look at this. Brumden. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Dude, check your encumbrance. Your very encumbrance. How? Uh, I might... have no idea what you're carrying. You might need to Did click you... the dwarf button. Yeah. I'm over by a handerst because of the. Yeah, the, the, min the minus stand to your carry weight fucked you over. Oh. Uh, also, had a... do be aware that that money does have a weight. Yeah. <laughs> you would have had like two thousand gold. You would have had enough time to drop stuff off. Um, you were moving up the stairs. You would have noticed you were moving a lot slower, so you can drop something from your person if you have. I uh, no. I would have left one gallon of water downstairs along with the horse armor. Jesus <laughs> Christ! You still Why are you still so carrying the horse armor? <laughs> I'm a dwarf. I don't leave valuable stuff off my body. So we had a car. We, we were on a fucking ship, dude. Did we? <laughs> wait, did we sell the horse armor? I we, thought we did. put everything oh, in the car yeah. anyway. I think it would have got sold because no one had a horse that sell, wanted actually. to use it. So yeah, you're you're perfectly fine. You've got more than enough weight uh, and encumbrance. So the weird creatures that seem to be stone. Wait, did you move my character? Yes, I did. Thank you. <laughs> no worries. Uh, so, let's have a look at here then. Marvellous, marvellous, marvellous. Okay. So, how much magic do these things have? Okay. So, the first one, which is being... which is up here, is going to attack Brynden. Uh... He is going to cast his spell with, of course, the maximum number of dice. Uh, no channeling, no ingredient, no other modifier. God damn it, that was GM whispered. <laughs> okay, so it did hit. There is another double. Um, so, Brunden, you got hit Can in the I head. Dodge? No, this is magical. Casper uh, could dodge, but can't anymore. And so can Sarah, but they're, that's given to her by the powers of God. The other one's a filthy curse and vampiric demon. Um, so, yes, you take six damage to the head. You do get your armor, and you do get your toughness. You hear a bing, and Brandon just looking at her day. Did someone However, call me? I do need a willpower test. Uh, a flat Fuck. willpower test, or you are stunned. Bonuses? Uh, you get a plus, you get a plus 10. Yeah, you get a plus 10. I got a 50% chance. Let's go for it. Fuck. Marvellous, you may want to re-roll this because I want another willpower test next. Well, actually, it depends. It depends. Do you want to re? You well, actually you can re-roll both tests because um, you have to give me another test anyway. That's right, the stun. Okay, so you were not stunned. Uh, can I get another uh, flat willpower test? Uh, uh, this one is actually flat though, unless you have resistance chaos. Oh boy. Nope. Corruption. So you get a, a flat uh, willpower test, please. I'll take corruption. Cool. 
So, no, um, if you don't succeed this test, you gain a mutation. Fuck. <laughs> oh, boy. I kind of want to rent a gauntlet. Mm. I only have two fortune points left. You can, the, more the, the, mutations, the mutations will take effect after the combat. Um, as if certain mutations would basically knock you out if you're like you're gonna another arm is gonna grow forth from your back then i can't just let you be in combat having your normal turns um so if you're gonna accept it mark it down um one mutation roll for after the uh the encounter there may be a way to have these removed however so that's another reason you don't want to roll just yet it all depends on the final outcome in before immediate first when he rolls his fucking chaos spawn that's another reason so you're accepting the roll yes okay so the next one um sarah as this thing looks at you with its beady eyes um a charge comes over it it casts the same spell only at you this time no, 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 and no. Oh, actually, sorry, I do need to do one other thing, uh, and that is Curse of Zinch. Minor. Roll. Yep, that doesn't... Oh, hang on. It's, it will suffer minus five penalty. So this one up here... Sorry, I'm not on the pinger. This one up here will suffer a minus five on its next um, casting roll. No, see, doesn't avoid it. Oh my god, I rolled doubles again. Um, so, you are hit for six. I, I seem to roll six again. Um, can I get two willpower tests, please? One, to avoid being stunned, which is um, a magical effect. And one for the, for the uh, mutation, which is a, um, a chaos, chaotic effect. Wait, uh... Ah. Um, does this count against armor with the damage? Or? Uh, yes, you have your armor and, uh, toughness. Okay, then she doesn't take anything. Sure, then you just need to give me the two willpower tests. So I should have a plus 20 on both because of the, because of the buff. The dark war thing. Sure. Yep. Sure. So you were not stunned? Not stunned. Do you become a mutant? Mutant! No. No. Your toes remain un... Um, um, uh, webbed. Webbed. That's the one. No extra buttholes? No extra buttholes. No today. extra buttholes. Well, not this round anyway. I mean, I could do... Go, um, um, eh, she's casting a spell. She's a spellcaster. Mm. We're going to go for, for Livia. And then we'll go for, for Lissiara. Yes, yes, mutate the elves. Yes! Why did I think of this earlier? Let us mutate. Oh They'll never go back to the forest. They'll be outcasts forever. <laughs> oh, only just got it. And no doubles. So, uh, Livia, 11 damage. You may um, utilize armor and toughness. Um, we only recover fate points when we sleep. Uh, I give you one a session, but you do normally gain them back when you sleep, yes. Like this session, there's been a couple of episodes where you guys have not had a chance to sleep, so you'd be, you'd be fucked. Otherwise, wouldn't you? Livia is looking really fucking bad. And two willpower tests. Yes, please. One for stun, and one for mutation. 
Now, Olivia may get an extra butthole. She is not stunned. And she's yeah, not, not muted. Not gained a mutation. Excellent work. Hang on a minute. Did I. A pure elf face pure. Did I not skip one? I fired three. So I should be on the last one. I don't know why I wasn't. Yeah. So the last one is going at um, Lissiara. She deserves to be smited. To have her beauty taken from her. Yes, yes. I want a penis on that forehead by the end of this. Yes. Oh, boy. I take no damage. Damn it, no more doubles. And that's just all right. Yep, two, uh, two no more powers. Bonuses. Only if you have resist magic for the first one. So you are stunned at this uh, rate. I, I will reroll that. Sure. That's why not. In stun would be very bad for me. You are not I stunned. Succeed. Uh, and you are not turning into a mutant. Not this day, my dear. So, with the first 20, 30 seconds into this combat encounter. <laughs> Casper, you are surrounded in darkness. You hear the grinding, gnashing claws of a wild beast raging within you. It is no longer content to stand by and watch the sidelines. It wants its freedom. It wants its revenge. It was used and it will take vengeance. And it will not wait any longer. But then within that darkness, there is another lustful. Oh, it's so exquisite. Do you hear that? The sounds of your comrade squealing its ecstasy. Oh, if only we could do that. If we could make things squeal. You have cut us off for too long. We have marked your flesh and we want our payment. Casper, the beast within and the horror you accepted are content no longer. No longer shall they wait. And that tiny, now almost insignificant, candlelight that flickers in a darkening wind. A huddled, shrunken form of yourself, shriveled to the bones. The last part of your humanity. The candle that lays on the floor, this tiny amount of light that flickers as if could go out at any moment is picked up and as you pick it up with your left hand and peer into a darkness that seems to be closing in swallowing you up that pain in your right hand comes back as you stare at that black spot a quill is formed and as you shake your hand in pain, or maybe horror, a raven is brought forth. Casper, you have the choice. The raven stares at you. You have the choice. Accept the fate of a mortal man pray for salvation and see if the gods one god in particular will answer or do you give in to lust do you allow for your senses 
to be taken to the limit, to live your life as you please in excess, indulging your darker sides, or is oblivion what you demand and desire? The choice is yours. You can tell me, DM me, or say nothing and watch your friends burn. So, what should she use this time? She giggles, she's still giggling because she's puking. She can't really talk because she's kind of, you know, vomiting for four rounds, but it yeah, doesn't really affect her. Oh, the fate of the old world. None of you ran up to her, so she can't do anything there. I did just use the lightning attack multiple times. Do I use it again? There is an elf there that hasn't been that hasn't been electrocuted. It'll be delicious. I'm going to attack the elf. I'm going to attack the elf. Yes. Yes. Um, so, Aurelia, this one's coming at you. Oh boy! Delicious. Delicious. Uh, only this time, she's going to chat. I, I just. I do have one question. Doesn't, isn't she technically incapacitated for four turns because of those uncontrollable vomiting? Sorry? Isn't she incapacitated because she's vomiting uncontrollably? No. Unable no. to do anything? She's a demon prince S of Zinch. They really don't give two shits about. Um... I mean, yeah. the, the greater demon of Zinch basically says he, he reflects it onto one of you lot. Like, he, he just does that. He just flicks uh, with a flick of his, his winged hand, you know. It's on one of you. So that was the ability I was looking for before. When it comes to Zinch, there is some crazy shit that goes on with, with Zinch's greater demons. I didn't realize it until I delved deeper. So, as... Mm, yeah, no, no, I said I was going to do it. I said I was going to do it. So, she takes four of her magic die. She successfully channeled, only just. Uh, there are no ingredients. She doesn't have any negatives. I mean, for her to not cast this, it is kind of in impossible, but, eh, you know. So, can I get a willpower test? And uh, uh, another willpower test, please. Oh, Minralia. Okay. Oh boy, let's see. Let's roll. Failure. I'm going to re-roll that. That's... I succeed. You are not stunned. I'm not stunned. And I succeed again. I'm not mutated. You will not gain a mutation. Many sadness, many sadness this day. So, um, hmm, hmm, uh, I'm, I'm going to. Can I see this gargoyle over here? Is this gargoyle over here? What's fighting about that? You know the gargoyles. Are, you know the gargoyles are attacking you. You know that much. The two that you've just looked at, I would probably say no. The angle is just with your comrade. Be it, the angle's a bit too, too um, extreme. Mm. Yeah, no, the, the angle's too extreme for that one. And you are going. Even though I made the doorway bigger, you are. Yeah, I'll, I'll just that I'll one. Fire this one. Uh, eh, that one is perfectly fine. You can go over the dwarf. It's, it's fine. Oh, I'll take that one. <laughs> so, three times. And these are not the highlight arrows, so. God fucking damn it. I'm substituting <laughs> that last one. 44 degrees of success, so that's four plus five. That's eight! Eight 
Three times. <laughs> fuck my life. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, your arrows. Ding, ding, ding. <sighs> the noise did change. The noise did change. Um, I can tell you, 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 you didn't get over its toughness by much, if at all. Hey, do, do, do they ping off, or do they actually hit the two of them? Oh, they hit. They, they ping, okay. but the the last one, there's a there's it's not quite so high pitch. You know, you did a little bit of damage. Yeah, fucking damn it, my fucking rolls. Like they don't have actually have armor. The stone is their toughness. Yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. I knew I should have gotten five bombs. Natural armor, and this is a pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> it certainly is. It certainly is. Cedric. Cedric, Cedric, Cedric. You're weak. You are. But a net. <sighs> oh, boy. Cedric is going to, well, drop the bow. That's the weapon I came up here with. Quick draw the knuckle dusters. Quick draw the knuckle dusters and can I do it? I don't think I can charge him. Unless, no, I can't get there, it's not a burn. Ooh, I can. Uh... Yep. Cedric is going there. And uh, tossing the net on this one. Sure, you can do that. That's Casper Shoot, not Citrus. There we go. That is a long range throw because it's more than 4 meters. So that's minus 10, correct? Yes, that's correct. Uh, no, no, no. Minus 20. Minus 20? 20 in this. Yeah, minus 20 for going into long long range. Uh, is that with the. Is that just the, the area of effect thing? Uh, are you beyond your range? I'm beyond. It's it's four years for a net. It's four to eight. And 40. where are you throwing? Uh, this guy here. Up here. Five in. So you're still within your range yeah, so, of the net. Yeah, so he's it's in, minus in twenty range. because up to four is your regular range. Above that, it's minus twenty. And if it's further oh, than okay. that, which you can double up, you can go up to sixteen meters. Nah. Uh, this one is 30. Okay. Ah, uh, screw it. So you should use a fear point, because why the hell not? Why not? Cedric has fear points. <laughs> it got worse. No. It got worse. You're like, yeah! Yep. It just, oh it just lands in a pile over here. Uh, so, okay. Casper's hand stops shaking. Casper, inside of you, you see that weak, frail version of yourself. The darkness closes in. He takes his hand, the right one, where the bird appeared from. It's gone now. Where did it go? You cover the candle with your body to shield it from the darkness that closes in. The hungers and the lust will not wait. You fall to your knees, no longer having the strength to stand against the darkness and you close your eyes waiting for your inevitable end. 
塞尔。She's going to put away her rapier, quick draw her grave hammer, and pummel the fuck out of that gargoyle. Sure. You can most certainly do that. So I'm doing a swift attack, so three attacks. Yep. The first strike is a hit, and the second, along with the third. Please give me three damages. As the creature still is either unable to or unwilling. Oh, sorry, third misses. You can re-roll it or accept your two hits. I'll take the two. Maybe it wasn't a miss. Maybe a righteous comes up and you snap part of it off. Maybe, perhaps. Hey, oh, fuck it out. Jesus. A nine and a ten. So maybe indeed you snap a piece off. Maybe you were aiming for the wing. Can I re-roll Ulrich Fury? No. As far as I'm aware, I haven't allowed re. Uh, no, oh, I haven't crap. allowed re-rolls of. Mainly I because. Oh, true, no, didn't. But mainly because um, of what happened with Waldo and the Marquis. Oh yeah. So I didn't want my want my bosses to be able to be you know you can already decrapify them I, I don't want it to be a reroll <laughs> so sadly no uh, Ulrich does not assist you on this hit but you still do 15 um, your first hit ding a ringing sound comes out but your second hit there is no ring at all there's just a crushing sound and as your hammer comes away you see this strange purplish glimmering ooze that just starts weeping forth from all the cracked stone from where you've indented um the actual what part would it be the body so on its chest does it look like i'm doing anything to it yes Yes, it is down 40% of its health. That's oddly specific. Okay. Yeah, 40% of ooze is, is, is weeping out of the, the, the wounds that you have caused, that you have caused it. So you are having an effect there, it's just a tough motherfucker, that's all. Uh, Livia, you're up. How long does it take to drink a healing potion or a healing draft? A uh, healing draft, I believe it's a within the turn. So you drink one and you're you're healed. Is it a half action or a full action? Oh, it's a half action to actually drink a potion. I'll drink too. Sure. You can only go up to your toughness bonus in one day. That was the limit I put on it. Um, just in case you're rolling. Or actually, are your good ones just a flat out? Can't remember. Yeah, it's the uh, good quality healing draft. They ah. heal eight wounds. Ah, okay. Yeah, you can do that. certainly do that. So, Alissiara, uh, your spell can take effect. Oh boy. Also, is the thing that I'm just remembering is the fact that I have to destroy all four of these so they can start throwing the, the arcs of power to protect her? No. They've got nothing no. to do with, um, with her protective seal. Okay. It was so golden, the times we spent together. 
and <laughs> I remember his for today. Um, I'm going to cast Parry Blast. Um, I'm on where I am on the door. Can I see everybody? Uh, yes, you can. Um, because you're not. Uh, you only need to see a part of them. So that one, that one, that one, sure, and that one. Yeah, Casper's in the way, but you can still see part of it. So I, I, I'm going to divide my spells on these two. Sure. Will the cord be cut? Will the tether be snipped? We'll see. Yes. Yes. Oh, here we go. Uh, wow! I'm re-rolling that! So, I will Jesus. add, I will add, you do have Voice of Reason, and you have rolled double one. The, the thing is, I rolled a three, a one, a four, and a one. Yeah, no, so I'm just suggesting, maybe instead of a re-roll, you just re-roll the Voice of one magic first? dice, and see, well, if you got a ten, you'd be over your casting limit, wouldn't you? Because you've got voice of reason, and there's a dub, there's I, doubles there. I, I technically undercasted this with only four instead of five, but can I use the voice of reason then reroll the entire thing? That is a good point. A, there would already be a roll in between. Yeah, if you were to allow me to do that, then I would use voice of reason first. Sure, it might fail, and then you can't use voice of reason twice. Or can you? I don't know. I actually. mean, I should be able to. <laughs> but... Yeah, it's, a, it's the final boss fight. Go ahead. Sure. Use Voice okay. of Reason. Yeah. Get another one. <laughs> uh, voice of Reason, that would be plus four. That doesn't get me there, does it? Uh, Maybe you have five. One. Yeah, but five plus one, six plus... Because I had a one, that's plus four, so that's... Oh, yeah, sorry, so that's You're 21. substituting, not adding. Yeah, yeah it's 21. Oh, I'm gonna use a Never mind, me dum dum. No, that's alright, it took me an embarrassingly long amount of time to say, why don't you just subtract 1 from the 5 and add that. Uh, yeah, sub subtract 1 and add that. To I mean, the... roll the d10 minus 1. That's so, the second time around, three. it does work. Do we have doubles? Do we have doubles? We you... don't think so. You! 23. Bastard! Nope. I hate you so much. I hate you so much. Why no doubles? Now I have to do maths as well. I'm going to punish you. I'm going to mutate you. Uh, two, three, four, five, six. That's missing one because of the staff. So that's plus one. D10. Plus four, I think. Plus five. Plus five. That's ten. So there would be... Uh, 10, 13, 14 here, and yeah, 14 again, so 25 plus 28, I'm not going to do that math online, 40, 53 damage on this guy over here, and then 22 plus 7, 29 damage on this dude. Am I doing math right? I think I'm not. Wait a minute, are you doing 4 at the first one? Yeah. Uh, okay. It's seven you damage. bastard. You, you, oh. fuck, you fucked my maths up. I hate you. Okay. <laughs> Hold up. Uh, so it's 14. Yeah, 53 damage to the first one. And the other one is, I think, 29 that I said. It's 10 plus 7 plus 12. We took one of them to halfway on of HP. Congratulations. Wait, halfway? Yep. 53 didn't kill this dude? Holy shit! <laughs> nope. <laughs> well, you I do think... resolve each hit individually against this toughness. Yes. True. Uh, Jesus. Yeah, these things are gonna be tough. They're made of stone, basically. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to focus fire hit them next time. Uh, I'm gonna use the last half action that I have to channel. So. Okay, I, I think that's the I think that's the damage applied properly. I do apologise if anyone heard a beep on on Twitch. 
That was me telling my TV not to go into snooze mode. <laughs> so, Brunton, you are up. Um, would Brunton charge the big Mimi or the Gorgons? She is currently changing, like her bod, her skin is rippling with energies and all sorts, like her bones are cracking and breaking and going into different positions and she's just smiling, giggling and vomiting. Um, yeah, that's why you would want to interfere, I think. Stop her before she turns on. You may or may here. not have seen arrows just bound off. You can yeah. certainly try. Okay, if I saw arrows bouncing back, I charged Shane's targets. Sure. Let me just make sure I'm actually using Brandon and on that hand. Um, does a charge you all for a dodge and a parry? Yes. Yes, they are reactions. I, so you can see I you charged the. Uh, charged this gargoyle. Shot, you certainly can. Charge. So, walk the range person through melee combat for charge. Plus 10. You get to move, distance, and attack. You get a plus 10. And yes, the moving distance is actually a bonus. <laughs> yeah. You do hit it. It makes no attempt to uh, to dodge or parry. Roll me damage. I do think I have AP1, by the way. No, that's it, on shots. It, it has no armor. Oh, yeah, this is, this is literally its skin. They are gargoyles, watchers of Zinch's libraries. If you if you want to know the uh, the exact uh, uh. name for them, uh, so you do 14, 14 mighty damage. Um, most of it is is absorbed by the um, by the, the stone, but you do hear a good impact with the Gromril hammer. And as you pull your hammer away, you do see an indent in its right arm, left arm, left arm. Um, and this, this weird glittering blue ooze comes forth. It's quite battered. It's quite battered. It's now over um, half of its HP gone. Black Hand, you're now up. Ooh. My mouse is being a bit. Uh... Feisty today. The mouse is feeling incorporative. So I off action. Set up the no free action. Set up the Hawkland half aim shoot. Sure. Uh, I don't know the others are in melee, so I shoot this one. Or yeah, I'd, I'd probably say you have this one and this one at your disposal. Yeah. Uh, this one has been one. this one has been hurt, however. I then shoot the north one. Thank you for reminding me. Sure, this one. The east one. Oh, but unfortunately, uh, you may want to re-roll that. I can't quite remember if the 95 is actually a, um, a misfire. And then we go to the oh, misfire I chart. I think it is. I mean, there's, a bon there's some bonuses on the misfire chart. You could get a kaboom, in which case I think you double your, your damage. Yeah, and the Hawkland is. 
blast you, to pieces. You, you, no, no. On a kaboom, the the gun's fine. Um, it's just yeah, you can blow up your your Hawkland. <laughs> it would be bad. Um, so you hit oh, it yeah. in the arm. On a kaboom, you need to roll a d10, right? Uh, no. So it's on a on it's on a misfire. You then roll a one d10 on the misfire chart. And on the misfire Fuck chart, oh. Me. Oh God, buddy! Oh, I know your name, nice. Jesus. I substitute. No, I got. God damn it! I you got to substitute. Because it's because it's, it's a two. Because you have to take oh, the highest. Fuck off. And I have to pick the higher one. I got yeah. the impact then, in which I could substitute. Oh fuck me, tender. Yep. <laughs> oh, oh that's... <laughs> that's yeah. the first time properly hearing Aldi pissed off the roll. <laughs> I feel oh. you, buddy. I feel you. Don't worry, I feel you. Oh, uh, what a waste of a fortune point. What a waste. So, the first gargoyle... If I gargoyle, die because of this... The first gargoyle... I'm dying of the big side. <laughs> ...is going to fire I mean, a I have to die. Say again, sorry? It's going to I, fire I, a Casper. Have... Oh, sorry. I'll be... I was about to say I have to big sad too, so yes, but Casper's hurt. Casper's Casper dying of the big sad right now. I'm in the middle of combat. <laughs> All right. So, um, as the bolt, the sphere, the light comes towards Casper, his hand has stopped trembling, and it makes a fist as the ball hits. The lightning hits Casper. You all see a black cloak, dark ethereal energy ripple over him, and he is unharmed. The next gargoyle I is going to fire at the Ciara. Well, he is in melee with Sarah, isn't he? Oh, hang on. Yes, sorry. I was looking at the other four, which is down down south. So the one that is in combat with Sarah is going to electrocute Sarah again. I did have another magic on on these things as well, but um, yeah, it, it, it's not there anymore. The only thing I have about it is it's called Death Slice. That's all I have. I'm guessing I'm not actually putting in the correct modifiers. Oh, actually, Casper, there should have been a minus five to your one. To your, uh, the one yep, that guy up there had a minus five. Yeah, so actually, that wouldn't have hit by one. So get rid of that. You, you saw no etheric energy. How dare you imply that you saw anything. However, Sarah's one, it does hit. Would you like to dodge or ask? Thor for forgiveness. No, Sigma. They both use hammers. Give, give me a break. <laughs> so, no red dodge. This, this says no. creature, gargoyle, watcher, fires a bolt at you, and you are able to step aside quite easily. Sigma's aid. Um, Missyara. Now this one's going to fire at you. Because oh, we want to put a penis on that face. Yes! Yes! Penis time! <laughs> that Double eights thing. as well! Beautiful. And I, I take one damage. That's what Ciara. So, roll <laughs> twice. Yes, roll for me twice. I need to find the extended chaos. I have the book, luckily. What was the page again? It's very close in the... Uh, 70, I think. Hang on, I got you now. Uh, no, sorry, 29. <laughs> That's the one, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's really, really close at the start of the book, which I do like. Totally okay. just don't have it open. The, the extended? Isn't that on Realms of Sorcery? Nope, uh, that's in Tomb of Corruption. Yeah. Yes. Oh, is on. it a different chart? Oh, no, no, sorry. Sorry, I'm not looking at mutations. I'm looking at um, 
manifestations. You're looking for the, the, the manifestation. Uh, that, that was a sorcery. Something like 116. I'll check for you. I mean, there's the... the no, there's the... What do you call it? Uh, a little doohickey on, inside it anyway. Uh, macro. Yeah, but no, no, he, no, he, it, he's I get to choose. choosing it. Yeah, uh, I, get, I get to choose. I never get to choose. I could choose the worst one. I could make you all shit yourselves. <laughs> Uh, uh, I didn't. Lynch Curse expanded page 181 from the PDF on the Realms of Sorcery. 181? 181, yes. On the actual book would be 179, but Love. the devs 181. Thank you very much. Let's just ignore the first one, shall we? And move, move along. You're gonna give your gargoyle intestinal rebellion. Oh, I forgot most of these are gonna be crap to, to the gargoyle. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you said you're so yourself, you're not choosing the easy one. Make your gargoyle <laughs> crap <laughs> itself. Let's see what it looks like. No, headbang. Headbang! Uh, greater possession. Wait, no. no. Sad, you can't the, the have that happens. one. It's sadness. Hang on, isn't there one where a demon appears? An imp? Oh, actually, Not I don't... minor. No, Not that's, minor, that's, no. That's, that's, mm, can't even have a cute demon imp appear. Like, poke you in the eye. <laughs> Choose kin inconvenience. <laughs> so you're either a gargoyle or shit itself. Stone doesn't shit itself, though. How am I meant to, like, a, a tiny I don't pebble know. It's, it, 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 it's a poop diamond, so I don't know. <laughs> I was going to say pebbles, but... I mean, yeah, diamonds is formed by uh, car a high carbon at high pressure. It's got a house. I think they're like a... High pressure and high heat. Yeah, so it's, it's got like a... I'm not going to finish that, never mind. <laughs> Little did so, we know the, okay. the Gargo 8 tackles before the fight. No, because that's going to screw you guys over, and I don't see why. I was going to have, like, the the voice appears. I was going to have Zinch tell you all to die, to not get in the way of his plans. But that that would be quite bad for you lot, I feel, hearing the voice of Zinch. Yeah! yeah. I don't imagine you're going to do well with that. Uh, I mean, last time someone just said Slanesh, we all, or I took a corruption point, because I think I was the only one who actually heard him. Yeah, yeah, the, it, hmm... And then I give Humperdinck one because I told him the name. I give you, I, I said you all mad. Zeech so just goes, hello. Um, oh, I don't know. Really. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to roll it. I, I, none of them are that good. We'll go with, there you go, every muscle in its body. It takes a minus five. Which one was that again? I think it was the one. 1d10. Oh yeah, 1d10 rounds. Uh... I think this one also had that. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. That's why Casper saved for five rounds. It has a minus five to its casting, basically. That's what it counts as. Uh, so, we had one at Sarah. She dodged it. We had one at Casper. It failed. We had one at Isiara. She didn't get mutated. It's sadness. Uh, the last one is going to go at Blackhand. We'll mutate a dwarf, why not? Why not? Let's let's mutate a dwarf. It'll be fun. Mutate a dwarf. It failed. It fizzled. No no mutating a dwarf today. The dwarven aura of anti figuring and the finger twiggling strikes again. So I was hoping that more of you would be suffering from mutation. Corruption, other bad shit happens hey, to you. You already mutated one dwarf. I think yeah. you can consider this a success. But I wanted to mutate an elf, damn it. And I didn't get to. But anyway. So, as the turn of the round no, comes no. again. Just kidding, just kidding. So, Do it anyway. there I? was part of this 
incantation. There was a very special part that one of our party members forgot all about. However, as the darkness closes in upon what little remains of Casper, the last of his humanity shrinking away, the light flickering in the wind, and just as it's about to go out and he accepts his fate, a hand. You feel a hand upon your shoulder, Casper. As you are in darkness no more, you are stood beside yourself. For those of you in the party, you see Casper's hand that had taken a fist now takes it with takes grasp of something with both an etheric black scythe appears in Casper's hand only as you look at Casper now he is wreathed in a black cloak his face obstructed his hands are the only thing you can see of his. The creature, now no longer vomiting, or the vomiting had stopped, because it no longer amuses her, <clears throat> squeals in a sickening, high-pitched, girlish shriek. I have the ley lines! You can do nothing here! Be gone, weakling! Casper steps once. A raven crows and a bell tolls. He steps twice and the bell tolls again. With each ring, the creature looks in absolute horror and disgust as the bell tolls again the realms of zinch are broken as the dwarves hear not a bell but a ringing of an anvil the final ring is true the realm is shattered as the black etheric scythe in casper's hands grows long the blade reaches out much farther than where the demoness stands. With a single mighty strike down, he does not cut the demon down. He cuts into the ground, the scythe burying itself deep, cutting down into the earth, down to where our mage forgot. Oh shit, the, the body in the ley line. Of Tarius, now shriveled and decaying. Now nothing more than a twisted husk, but a connected husk. Connected to the ley lines, she absorbed that magic and it protected her as she corrupted his corpse. But in one last act of defiance, he slowed her corruption. And it had not yet reached the ley lines, true. And with the power of the divine behind the strike, the corpse and the connection are brushed away. She screams the moment Tarias' remains are scattered into the dust, into the earth, turned to dust. As her body begins to misform, change, go bubus and shrink and convulse and contract the magics are now awry. The realms of Zinch cannot save her. You all watch with perhaps shock, perhaps horror, or maybe a bemused amazement as she explodes into nothing but gore. And with the realms of Zinch gone, the watchers too disappear with it. Although many of you may not know what's going on, some of you staring at the corpse 
or the parts of what was going to be the demon print priestess of Zinch. Maybe the last thing that you notice is your friend and ally become unveiled from this dark etheric cloak as his body goes limp and hits the floor. I have several questions. It really is it. So you just look around and like, what the fuck was that? Um, uh, Luciara will move closer to Casper and she will... We're in darkness, right? Casper is dead. Uh, if I remove your cloak, you, do you still look Empiric, or do you look human? He looks human. He is um, completely Overwatch. clear Overwatch. complexion as you met him when you first met him. The tower has returned to normal. He's back within the normal realms. Ah. <sighs> I was just going to look at the relic, look at the group. Oh, that's crazy son of a bitch did it. He saved us all. So what we... did he do exactly for the ones who were not in the business of fingers wiggling? I'm pretty sure he connected to Tarias himself down in the ley line. I, in my stupidity, forgot that Tarais's body was directly connected to the ley lines underneath this tower. And can you dump that down even more? Uh, Casper plus the old mage from this tower joined together and saved us all. And probably the entire planet. I... Um, Cedric looks at you, tilts his head. Huh? I'm gonna look at Citric. He saved us, Citric. That's is that sufficient for you? That's a little bit similar, yeah. A uh, raven still don't know. flies don't know in. Hard, but... It flies by Casper's now still body. I will do it. Uh, not a thing, since I'll do a magical sense with this guy. For the humans uh, in the room, there is a sense of hallowedness. As if you've just walked into a temple, a place where you should show respect. For your magical sense, the Ciara. As you look into the realms, there is no raven there. You do, however, see an individual covered in a black cloak and a smiling Casper. The raven calls and doesn't fly away for any of you mundane who can't see into the realms of magic the raven calls and disappears well then <laughs> i rather perk up and say crazy son of a bitch did it it did win that bad. You want to fight before all of us. Alright then. Uh, so when Sarah is looking at him, does he look dead dead? I, as I, dead I, as I a mortal man dead. can be. So he doesn't look vampiric anymore? Nope. Not even in the slightest. 
the complexion has come back to his skin. He looks healthy, maybe a little underfed, but he was always lean. Well, until he became, you know. All right, it turns out my Discord just kind of crapped out there for a second. I think I missed the last minute or so. Sarah is con uh, making sure that you are dead. Just like she he is dead, right? He's no longer vampiric. What was the last point you had up twice, to, to get make sure. What? What was the last point you heard up to? Uh, Casper. Oh, sorry, no, not Casper's name for. Uh, hey, I've actually forgotten. <laughs> I was so, so confused. The was it raven. The, that you... the raven appeared. Uh, looked into the wings the of appeared. magic. Uh, I disappeared. Yep, that was it. Okay. Uh, yeah, then Did it was you just... you hear Irelia sing? About the, the raven? No, that you... The crazy son of a bitch actually won the bet. He beat the, the big bad before all of us. <laughs> I didn't hear that. <laughs> oh, and boy. Casper, technically you are still there. Um, you watched the whole event. You were not in control of your body. Nope. You were just a, a viewer. And as you see your body hit the floor and your comrades gather around, you hear what they have to say. But as uh, Miss Yara looks into the realms of magic and can see you there, sadly you cannot be heard. Uh, let's see, we'll look at Casper and just smile. Not gonna say anything. Casper just does his usual thing. He'll nod his head, give a smile, and turn around to walk away. <laughs> As you turn and walk off, the cloaked figure bows his head to you all. And doing that thing you do when you wear a cloak of sweeping your arm up to cover the camera. <laughs> Him and Casper both <laughs> fade into nothing. On to something better, maybe. For our heroes in the aftermath. You will find out later on, well, you find out later on, rather, um, that um, Hagrin swore he heard Casper tell him to to hit the anvil to hit it every time he could and you hear from Humperdinck that after you all entered the lightning stopped A few days will pass as you all get your shit together, basically. Coming to terms, perhaps, with the loss of a friend and the loss of so many hirelings that you didn't really care about, but the adventure is done. You've earned your money, you've gained your valuable relics back for your people, you've gone on an adventure and, and fame, glory, and well, perhaps the favour of a particular human god. There is nothing left to do now, really. Except from go home, for many of you. For the dwarves, they head off back to Sterling, back to... Uh, Siegfried Hoff? Yes, Siegfried Hoff. Got it right. Took me a while to remember, but I got it. Um, and pack up shop. They inform the people there that um, the unnamed war band has been disbanded. Some fell and some will carry on. <clears throat> Excuse me. Wilhelmer will end up going to 
the engineering college as that was something she had always planned to do our slayer stays with the dwarves figuring that maybe something big and nasty will come and try and take the anvil away Ragnar saddened that he could not take part in the last battle but swearing by the ancestors he needed to be there to see and protect the anvil as it worked will head back to his home with a runesmith in tow who has many secrets that unlike others before him he is willing to share who knows what will happen to the Dawi once they have this regain this knowledge sadly our little kawaii mage of uh, of the stars she will never awake she will forever remain in her dream it'll be up to the group if they decide to place her in the care of a temple or to take steward stewardship over her but if not she will go back to her family and with the money from her cut I'm sure she will at least live for some time but her brother will never ever go back to normal and somewhere out there there is a halfling who is enjoying himself drinking from a bucket <laughs> Humperdinck will return home he will disband the war band, but he will tell you all that you are welcome to come with him. He swears that, oh, I can't be a noble forever. The, the, the road will call me back in a, in a few years or so. And, well, I, I, I know that there's a, an elixir of life out there. I'm sure I can find another one. Maybe one that's not quite so uh, vulgar as the others that I've heard tell of. Or if not then somewhere else on another adventure for any of you who are not quite done but to Hockland will be his next port of call so what will happen to our adventurers where will you go let's start with uh, from the back forwards Blackhand, Brunden what will you be doing with your wealth and uh, renown and fame and glory? Brumden. Mm. What would I do? Well, there was an inn owner before, so... Well, now you could <laughs> buy your own inn wherever you please with the wealth that you have acquired from this venture into Mordheim. Yeah, maybe may fortify it a bit. Maybe that will be its name, the Fortified Tavern. Yeah, Fortified Tavern, Dwarven Meat. And I, how I about you mean hand? Fortified a bit is the name of the tavern. Basically, walls, turrets. <laughs> a mini the castle kit. the castle the finest tavern along the the roads of the uh of the uh dwarven lands or maybe the empire or in between the choice is yours so how about blackhand would he return home or would he carry on on his adventures or maybe to the imperial college of um engineers Uh, I mean, I think Blackhand would start working on some kind of repeater Auckland with a magazine type thing. So perhaps <clears throat> back to Nullen to rent yourself a workshop and a forge. Yeah. So back to the, the city of uh, smoke and industry. Yeah. Well, I'm sure with uh, the elect uh, countess's um, notable name that you can take claim to 
and, and the fact that I have a drum reel armor set so I can throw my way around in the washing can. Exactly. <laughs> the world will be your oyster <laughs> within Millen's borders. Yeah, you can really throw your way around with that. So, Citric. Literally. What would your uh, what would your goal be now? I, I can tell you all you'd have at least ten thousand, maybe twenty thousand yeah. gold. So, uh, Cedric is uh, well. He still has a job left undone. He still needs to figure out what the hell the green gems and shares of was that tree that really fucked him up into a mutant. So. I don't know, maybe you'd ask Humperdinck to hang around with him for a little bit, just in case Humperdinck needs to back up, uh, a backup spirit salesman. By all means, a good, a good spirit salesman with, uh, with agile fingers can always be, uh, be in I use mean. when a competitor is not quite playing ball. So, oh. or Other. Aurelia and Lysiara. I'll um, go with you next. I think you skipped the unit, actually. I think you skip the unit. I, I actually decided to go in a completely different order to what I was <laughs> thinking. So. Don't even okay. put it back. To be honest with you, no, I, I honestly thought different. the Soon Raccoon was also a, a character, but then I was like, hang on, he's not a player. So remove him. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, God. Both Aurelia and Lysiara are going to be returning to the Castle Lauren. Uh, Aurelia will leave Tiffany in the care of Humperdinck, and after she's done her duty in Castle Lauren, she will go back to being with Humperdinck. And Lysiara will meditate for 10 years in the in Castle Lauren before returning to better carry herself in adventuring. Well, for our mages, I will just add on the extra note of the smorgasbord. Oh yeah, by the way, I need to roll for meditation for from the... Ah. Oh, no, oh god, you yeah. Don't. No, you, you don't. Oh. There was a benevolent aura. None of you have mutations. And I will tell you the other options, how they would have played out. Um, just so you can know, I like, roll oh, anyway. You can, if you'd like to see if Brundon suddenly gets uh, the ability to breathe fire, then by all means, you can have a look. 1d1000! Yeah, 1d1000. So, uh, okay, um, so yes, there would also be that smorgasbord of research and stuff for you, uh, magic users to go through if you wanted to, to spend a bit of extra time learning some. Juicy uh, secrets. Head crest. The thing is, Lysara is going to be on a retreat to recover, but she's not going to stop researching ever, so that's why she's going to go back to adventuring after she's done. And did, did, the, did we find the book with the blue rose, or did that book disappear completely? Uh, as you go downstairs to, you know, loot. You'll find that uh, the book is there. Um, she uh, did not need it, but it could have stopped her. So, and Tarias thought he needed it. So, me. Yeah. That case, yeah. <laughs> this, yeah uh, it's the last time. not back. actually going to go back to the, to the forest. She's going to study the book first, then she will be with something. Uh, that is the last artifact. The book, so yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, that is true. That she would return it. She, I'll, I'll do the same thing, but I'll be studying it. So, Livia and Sarah. I think Livia would go back to the forest. At least initially, she might go on to um train more in magic and try and learn high magic. Well, she is welcomed back by your former master, and there are many within the forest who perhaps have a new respect for what the younger 
uh, members can do. And for Sarah. Sarah might stay in the area for a while. Maybe she try to, no, she'd probably try to rebuild her old estate. Try and find people to run it in her stead and then go on adventuring on her own. She well, still has undead and vampires to kill. With 20,000 gold crowns at your disposal, you can definitely make a dent in rebuilding what was lost. Two of the uh, items we found in in Mordheim as well were deeds. They certainly were. They certainly were. <laughs> um, one question. Do we know where Casper was from? Uh, Did he ever tell us where his family was? So, Casper, I felt it was only right, as you were the one who wrote the letter. Yep. As you all go through Casper's belongings, trying to find out, well, does he have a home, does he have a family? One of you uncovers a letter addressed to all of you. Casper. Casper Traxel's last will, testament, and confession. I am Casper Traxel of Holzbeck, Midland, son of Thoral and Mid Midellan Traxel, a struggling fool who damned himself and his immortal soul. I have shamed my family, my friends, and more, and I am sorry. There's a big, long-ass piece in that. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, it's probably a bit too much to read for now, but I can uh, we'll skip to the actual to the actual part of the will. Uh, to everyone, please take what you... Please take what is of use to you from my possessions. I simply ask that a portion of the coin is put aside for another task for my friends. So that is for literally everyone on the boat. To Emilius, I cannot offer much in truth. As such, I wish for you to take, I wish for you to first take from my belongings, whatever you see fit, what could be yours. I just hope my time in the warband has served you well. To my friends, I'm sorry I cannot leave you much at all, and this may be cruel of me to ask, but I do ask of you two tasks. There are iron boxes filled with certain items I have acquired over my time of, of our adventures. I want you to destroy these boxes and their contests. They are blasphemous items and the source of my own damnation. I truly wish I have not or did not become like that damnable marquis in the end, but I believe my curse will not save me from that, at least for the time being. And secondly, any belongings I own that are not of use to the warband are to be sold, and any and all money reused, along with a small portion set aside, as long with a small portion set aside, is to be given to my family back in Holzbeck, or to my brother Caleb, wherever you may find him. I will be unsure of how much there will there is uh, at the time of my death. However, I hope it'll, it will at least cover some of the coin I stole from them. And the act itself is some penance to my deeds. I do not deserve any other form of forgiveness, nor do I expect it. I am not nearly as good a wordsmith as I am a charmer, and there is so much left. I wish I could say, or wish I could. Alas, sooner, alas, the sooner this and I are put the rest, the better. This is my last goodbye. I hope in the end I did not suffer, nor do any harm to any of you. Where are my friends? May go may more guide me to the garden, or at least not my not allow my soul to suffer. Casper Traxel. And I think that that is the perfect place to call an end to our Warhammer Fantasy Second Edition tabletop RPG game. I'd like to thank all of my players for sticking with me for so long and getting to the end of this campaign.
and I'd like to thank all of you out there who have watched up until now. You are all legends and heroes of uh, the old world, or at least in my world. Thank you all so much <laughs> for watching. Take care, everyone, and as always, bye bye for now. Bye. See ya. Yeah. Bye.